What's up you guys? It's your girl Tamara G.I. and we are back with another video. So today we are working with Kiss Love Hair and we are getting into this skunk stripe unit. Now these are all the details on this unit and this is how it looks on the inside and out. And I showed you guys everything that came inside of the box when you do purchase this wig. Now this wig didn't come pre-bleached. I had to bleach the knots myself but the knots did bleach really really well and I did slightly slightly over bleach them so you will see me going back in and perfecting that part due to me slightly over bleaching the knots now today i really wanted to try something different with this install because if you guys um when you guys see one of my latest installs i did like a completely glueless install with like glueless adhesive on a frontal and i wanted to kind of do that with this unit too but i did incorporate some glue just a little bit but it's not as harsh as just having full lace glue on because I did this unit going into the weekend and I didn't have to work out or nothing like during the weekend so I was like I don't have to make sure that my wig is like submerged on my head with so much layers of glue like I can just do like a glueless little adhesive on there and it will stay really really well and this wig is actually not going anywhere so the products that I use this ORS wig grip spray and I also did use the black even spray for this it worked so well so all I really did first was I created like a layer of glue with the spray so I sprayed the ORS spray first and then I went ahead with the even spray and then I blow dry it so it can be like a tacky layer and then I decided to lay the lace down afterwards and this worked so much better than if you guys watch my old glueless install videos when I did a glueless unit for the first time it was just too much I had to cut the lace after I didn't cut the lace beforehand it was just a lot but this like I'm starting to eat these glue set he's units up because this was so easy and I kind of prefer doing my units this way but of course you guys know when I do work out during the week I do have to put my lace glue on because I do not want my wig to slip or anything while I'm working out so I wouldn't recommend this for doing strenuous workouts like use your lace glue if you know you're a girly that work out but if you are just trying to put on something fast or something real cute real quick doing it this way is just so much easier and the lace immediately stayed into place like this wasn't hard at all and i would say that a beginner could do this
saw you guys when I did lay that lace down it was like really really early in the morning and I did I didn't go to sleep <laughs> so um, I let the lace sit for probably about a few hours maybe like five hours I let that elastic band just sit on the hair and that's why I am able to just plug and do the stuff that I'm doing but you guys did see that I did add a little bit of that lace glue on there so the security is definitely still there but most of the install is a spray adhesive, but I'm just going ahead and getting these baby hairs together. I'm not doing anything crazy, just like a little one, two sideburns and something on the side part because I really, really wanted some baby hairs for this look because the looks of stuff that I'm about to do with this hair, I really, really wanted me to have some cute baby hairs with it, but it really wasn't hard at all. I would say when you are doing baby hairs with colored hair, just make sure you know exactly what you're gonna do because if not, you will find yourself, you will be like, oh my God, this looks a mess. But just know exactly what you're gonna do. Like I done did so many different colors so many times and I done work with, did my baby hairs with blonde hairs and stuff like that. So of course I'm gonna know exactly what to do. But if you are a beginner, I would say take your time because it can be kind of like intimidating a little bit because like when you are working with a platinum color like this, when you're doing the baby hairs at first, it might blend in with the gel or it might just look a little crazy, but like I said before, I've been doing this for a while, so I know exactly what to do. But if you just follow what I'm doing in the video, it shouldn't be that hard as well. But make sure you follow up with your blow dryer in the beginning of you starting your baby hair because that's going to help you have like the security and have like the structure of how you want it to look. And now that the baby hairs are done and looking real cute, I am going in with some black makeup and just perfecting that part. Cause like I said before, you guys know I said I kind of over bleached it a little bit. So I did have to go back and kind of fix that part a little bit. So now that everything is laid exactly how I want it, I am gonna go ahead and do these curls now i'm just doing a little you know the way i normally do if you guys watch my videos y'all know t3 and my t3 curl iron is broke at the moment so i really be doing it this way but it's really actually very very easy to just wrap it around as like if you're doing wand curls but just make sure the hair is flat so that it will give you curls and it actually looks really really cute and i would recommend pinning your front parts so the front part on my side and then the front part for my bang i went ahead and pinned it but everything else i just let the curls drop and stay Normally, I would be spraying so much hairspray in between these, but I literally ran out of hairspray while I was doing this, so I was just hoping for the best, but I would recommend always having some hairspray. I spray hairspray after every other section because it just works, and I was trying to get the little bit of hairspray I thought I had out, and it was just nothing in there. Like, I was really, really trying, but it was not working. But yeah, I'm just curling away from my face and this is the easiest part of the whole install. But I really, really love the color and I really, really love this unit. The hair is so freaking soft. Like, I just really, really love this. I just cannot wait to take more pictures in this hair because I just love it so much. And normally, y'all know, I be going ham with the layers, but I did not want to cut the skunk stripe too much or take away from it because I already did my baby hairs and that did take some of the hair out of the the um, actual skunk stripe on the side. So I didn't want to do too much layers this time because I really wanted to showcase this skunk stripe and how cute it was. So that's why you didn't get all the layers this time. But if that skunk stripe was all, if it was like highlights all throughout the hair, oh, I would have been chopping the hair up. But it still came out really cute like this. So if you guys, you know, don't necessarily want to cut your wigs or cut your bundles and stuff like that, when y'all be seeing me cutting on this hair, doing all these layers, you could just do it like this. But yeah, Kiss, kiss Love, they did their big one with this. I was about to say love kiss. <laughs> kiss love, they definitely did they big one with this because this hair is so cute. And I've been getting compliments on this hair and I just put it in. So 
make sure you guys check that description box down below and go shop kiss love hair Okay, you guys, so now that all of the curls are done, I'm just taking out the front clips and, you know, getting it exactly how I want. It's imperative that you guys have your hot comb when you are shaping the front and the side of your hair to get it exactly how you want to. That hot comb is going to shape it exactly how you want it. So if you guys see me do this all the time, it's because it actually works and it helps you shape your hair exactly how you want it. And I really want to make sure that the skunk stripe did show. Normally, I would be spraying hairspray, hairspray, which I know I didn't have no more hairspray, so didn't do that. But this is the final result, you guys. Like, just so cute. I really, really love this hair. Like, it gives me rock star vibes, but it's really not even a lot. Like, the skunk stripe is not even a lot on the hair, but it still brings it out so much. So, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys enjoyed this hairstyle and loved it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And we'll be back with more videos soon. Stay blessed. GI Babies, we out.